Is left to play for Hoffman. And Brian Campbell had a solid round going a day ago. Pitch in there for Campbell. So he moves up at the leaderboard clean card on his Saturday as well. Because McGreevy knows how to get it done, and he is looking for his third win. And he is looking for his ninth birdie of the day if this goes, and it does. Max McGreevy now nine under on the day. Coming off three birdies in a row. He's got a couple of gloves in that back pocket. Let's see if he can knock this in for bird. Go to read off McGreevy. Oh, come on now. Sure. What a way to finish. Should I say it? Should it? That's going to make lunch taste so much better. From 95 yards for Peterson. Really well done to that front right hole location. Kind of drew that little wedge in there. Gerard only hit four fairways in his front nine, but last couple holes, he's done a good job at fixing that. Great wedge shot there. Just striking it super solidly. I can't stress how impressive what Amelia just said about Gerard is. At 11 birdie putts inside 11 feet, proximity on the PGA Tour from around 100 yards, you know, so it's impressive where he's situated and how he's hitting it. And Peterson, tight and picks up another bird. Go to Walker. Awfully inviting hole location back of the 11th anywhere back there and that back porch is going to yield a good birdie putt. Oh, you read it perfectly. What a putt. Aggressive too. I had some speed, so very comfortable with that line. Go to the 12th, the par three. Longest that it's played all week. This out to the right a bit. That is so good. Here's Cone at 12. There we go. Eighth birdie of the day at this par three. Chance to get within four. Made a swinging putt from left to right a couple holes ago. Oh, again here. Every time we check in with Danny, he's pouring that link putt in. He was impressive yesterday. Get out of here, squirrel. Size of a small dog, that squirrel. Peterson locked in. Yes, what a shot. How about this one? Oh, that Excellent. is so good, considering, as Amelia said, he pushed it down there. It's kind of an awkward shot with an elevated green, a little bit of a downhill lie. What a great way to start off this back nine with back-to-back -back birdies if he can drop it. I mean, that was that little side spinner in there. That was so cool. Go up ahead to Matt Adkins. He's probably mad at the cameras. The moment we show up, he's making pars. Well, there's a green light hole location oh, here. This one, though. Get in. Come on now. What a shot from Atkins. <laughs> Going to get to nine under par on the day. I can tell you from back at the fairway, he is wondering how that did not drop. Can make that with all 14 clubs in the bag. He's going to go with putter. That gets him to nine on the day. Look at that card. Just ripping this place. Drove it in there perfectly. And we see right here just another player that controlled the spin. The other three birdies that Gerard has made have all been inside of eight feet. Hit it that close, you're going to make a whole bunch of birdies. There's another one. If you can't remember who Thornberry is, as he rolls this in casually, he has got the pedigree of doing that. 10 wins in college. In this third round, both of the 17th. Here's Campbell at 15, and every time we see him, he's pitching in or making a long putt, and he does it again. This guy is out of his mind right now. Get a camera to this group for Campbell. He's just like, I need some attention here, and I'll make a shot for you. Up ahead, Danny Walker. See if he keeps this putter rolling. He does that right in the dead center hole. Looks like it's a bucket right now to Danny Walker. Here's Paul Peterson at 15. 118 yards. 
There's a slope on the left Peterson can use if he wants. He's just been dialed in, and this is just a perfect hole location for all three of these guys to throw a blanket. 91 yards for Lamb. With this rain coming in, important to control the spin. Oh, what a shot. Beauty. The wedge shots from Gerard have just been so stellar. 88 yards. And another one. Oh, easy now. That's just a great shot. Up, gonna have a putt up the hill. He's playing some fantastic golf. And this for three in a row. No issues at all. Ryan Gerard in absolute and total control. It's a great read. Excellent putt from Paul Peterson. Actually, this season, he's worked on his mental game, and veterans always talk about needing to stop putting pressure on themselves, have a little bit more fun. Here's Campbell at the 18th. This is four shot, found the penalty area. He is not done yet. This could be difficult. Oh, what a tough hole to play in the rain. Just try to limit the damage. Oh, what? Like that? Sure. All he does is hole out. This is ridiculous. Third hole out of the day for Campbell. <laughs> That for par, that for 65. Buy a lottery ticket. Do what do, do whatever you gotta do tonight, Campbell. This is ridiculous. Best par ever. He's got a chance. That is an excellent putt from Trevor Cohn. What a birdie after you know waiting with that short delay. 85 yards for Peterson, 15 foot feet of landing area. The screen pitches from back to front. Oh yeah, dance with me. That's just unfortunate with how good his distance control has been with wedges. He sent that one in there a little lower. Well, this one had a look at the hole on the way back. Can he convert? That really is a good. great. Great putt for Peterson with authority. Well, he only had 21 putts in the round of golf. It helps when four of the greens you don't putt on, right? He said that second one he already chunked it. Now, it looked like a fairly decent shot to me. <laughs> hey, listen, as long as it goes in, who cares what it looks like? By the way, Campbell is, in fact, tour bound and is in the top 10 of the leaderboard. Everybody chasing Brian Gerard, but fun to see players enjoying those moments, having a little bit of fun with them because you don't always have those types of rounds. But James, looking ahead tomorrow, Ryan Gerard can have an opportunity to win. Big names chase him. What does he have to do? I think he, he's had the experience when he won the BMW Charity Pro-Am. He held on to a lead there and then extended. He's very impressive under pressure. I think he's just got to keep doing what he's doing. He hasn't missed the center for a long time.